Hello and uh, welcome to another Excel at the office video. In this video I wanted to show you quickly how to calculate the years um, from a date format. So oftentimes you'll see a date and you might want to extract the year from it. For example, if you want to uh, use it in another formula or to calculate the difference between two dates uh, as whole or uh, fractions of a year. There's many uses for this. So for example, you might find that you want to calculate how long someone's worked for an organization um, from your employee records based on their join date. You would calculate however many years up to today they've worked there. Or if you've got, uh, again, with employee records, date of birth, you might want to use the years function to calculate calculate how old they are. There's a whole mix of reasons you might want to use it, but it's um, it can be uh, a faff to try and find out how to do it exactly. So here we go. So the most simple option, and I'll show here in Excel, is the um, just return the year within a date. So extract the year from a date. Uh, the formula for that is simply equals year brackets date. Um, as with all the formulas and functions in Excel, always start with equals and the um, juicy bit goes between the brackets. Now I've done that based on uh, this formula here. So here's the date, so 20th of September 2019. And using the formula, so equals year, and the date reference is my cell reference in this instance, uh, E7, and that it brings back 2019. So that's simple, really easy to use, converts your date into a year, um, displays it as an integer, that means a, a whole number, and it's uh, really handy to categorize and group dates. So for example, also if you've got some raw data that is structured according to um, dates, you can group those into years and do similar for uh, months with another formula. I'll show you uh, another time, the EO month formula or even quarters and so on. So it's just grouping information by year. If you've got sales transactions, that's another use. A heap of sales transaction data and you want to say, well, how much did I sell last year compared to the year before? The year function, add that as an extra column to your data can be quite handy. Um, and you can use uh, the, you can use it with today's date or just man manually type a, a, a a um, date if you want to just extract the year but generally it's done with cell references when you're referring to other dates so how to calculate age or difference between dates and count the years so the most effective I've found uh, the most effective way is the date if function because the, the reason for that is First of all, it counts the whole years between the dates, so it won't give you partial years. It'll only count, as it's doing here, it's 22 and a bit years, but it just result, displays the result 22 for the difference between those dates. And I'll share this uh, template in my associated blog I'll write with this video. Um, and it's really uh, simple, date if, and it's quite simple to get your head around. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so cal calculating again years in service, age, time spans between dates, and simply uh, stated so it's equals date if, and when you open the brackets, uh, you enter what the start date is. So in this formula, I've used the cell reference C27 as my start date, which is that uh, merged cell here. So whenever you're referencing merged cells, always just reference, you can select it and it will do it for you. It will take the leftmost column and topmost row from that merge cell. So that's my start date. Always have an end date that's uh, bigger than uh, your start date, of course. And then choose your unit. So this date if function, I've used it for years, but if you use other units, you can count the difference in uh, months and even days. So I've used Y and it's important to include the quotation marks on Y for years. But if you put a D there, that would count the days between. So it would be, uh, goodness knows, I, I can't do 
22 times 365 plus a few months um, but generally it's going to be quite a high number so that's really handy for calculating the years and if you then want to categorize say for example uh, I did something recently where I categorized people by their years service in an organization because there was a concern that they were too there was too many people that are junior in service and they needed mentoring for more experienced people and they didn't have enough people in the longer service so the way I kind of tackled that I first of all um, calculated the uh, service length based on when they joined as my start date and then the end date I used the today formula so I just put um, so end date I used today uh, uh, in my uh, the, as I've done uh, above here so that the today function so that calculates up to today how many years they've served. I then categorized that result. So 22 would have been incorporated in a, a 20 to 30 year service category. And others, if it's less than a year, I'd put it into a 0 to 1, month, uh, one year category, 1 to 2 years, 2 to 5 years, and so on. And that's using the equals if function which is a great way of categorizing data and I'll show you that in another video but in essence all what you do is you kind of type equals if uh, and if that result is greater than say 20 you'll then choose let's say uh, 20 to 30 years and type that in quotation marks marks uh, and then so on. So with a comma, you then build another if statement to uh, reference your um, data point. But I'll do a proper video on that. But it's basically building a combination of if statements to create categories. And the final uh, way you can calculate years between dates, if you want to be a bit more precise about it, say, for example, you've got uh, you're calculating pro rata holiday pay for somebody that's uh, leaving your uh, company or organization or you just want to calculate in precise terms the difference between uh, dates or if you're a small child and you want to boast how old you are I'm I'm five and three quarters um, you can do this uh, with the years between dates option two which is year frac it sounds like a strange and catchy name but year frac um, one of the limitations of that as the name suggests you can't do it for um, months and days because ultimately its whole purpose is to bring you back the years and fractions of a year um, between two dates so it gives you that precision and it's useful for calculating uh, anything to do with money and time basis is obviously uh, quite handy so what it does it displays things as a decimal not an integer and uh, your again enter the, your start date within the brackets comma and end date so i've used uh, cell c50 as my start date and g50 as my end date so it's the same dates but rather than just bringing back 22 it brings me back 22.44 so just under 22 and a half years uh, and then uh, the basis uh, unless you're doing anything fancy, I'd always recommend just put the number one in there. It's uh, It will take longer to explain uh, than to just do it. Um, what I've also put in here in this template, a handy tip, if you want to uh, round the number down uh, to just 22, you can combine your year frac with a round down formula. So encapsulating the year frac formula formula within the brackets of the round down uh, function and then just should put um, zero as your uh, number of decimal places for rounding down to and that's a really long way of doing the quicker option which I showed you here years between dates option one so I hope you found that useful it can be quite a pain to uh, find and calculate years between either find a year within a date or calculate years between dates if you look online there's hundred literally about a hundred ways that you can uh, skin this cat so hopefully that simplifies it for you uh, I hope you like the video I've um, got some new um, software to record my screen which um, I'm just fathoming so excuse me 
and bear with me while I figure that out. But as I mentioned, I'll share this on my eato.blog, uh, E-A-T-O dot blog. Is it eto.blog or eto.com? One or the other. But excel at the office.com. Let's go with that. Uh, that's where I've got my blog. I, I, <laughs> I bought a shorthand version URL for 20 quid and I've completely forgotten what it was. So sorry about that. But excel at the office.com and I'll share a blog on how to do this, including this template for you to download for yourself. So uh, I hope you like this, share it, leave your comments below and get in touch with me if you'd like something a bit more bespoke. Uh, thanks for your time.